Shrewsbury will play at Wembley for the second time this season after winning 1-0 in the second leg of their League One playoff semi-final against Charlton. Carlton Morris scored the decisive goal just before the hour mark to ensure the side that finished third in the table went through to the final. Paul Hurst's side, who were beaten by Lincoln at the National Stadium in last month's Check a Trade Trophy final, will meet Rotherham or Scunthorpe at Wembley on May 27. Shrewsbury were bottom of League One when Hurst was appointed manager in October 2016, but are now just 90 minutes away from playing in the second tier for the first time since 1989. John Nolan's stunning late goal at the Valley meant Shrewsbury kicked off the return leg with an advantage and they started brightly. They created the game's first chance when Alex Rodman turned sharply and fired in a low shot which was well dealt with by goalkeeper Ben Amos at his near post. Lee Bowyer's Charlton enjoyed plenty of possession but found clear chances hard to come by. Josh Magenis was well off target with an acrobatic volley and then Nikia Jose broke into the box but central defender Aristo Nisiala produced a fine block. Rodman then went close for the home side again just before the break when a neat move down the left saw the wingers shot from a tight angle well stopped by Amos. Nolan fired wide for Shrewsbury early in the second half before Sean Wally's cross shot was blocked by Patrick Bauer. The breakthrough arrived in the 58th minute as Wally ran at the visiting defense down the right and pulled the ball back to Morris to take a touch and drill a powerful shot from 15 yards low past Amos. Charlton chased an equalizer but Ben Godfrey came up with a vital block from Joe Arabo's close-range effort before Jake Forster Kasky's 20-yard drive was pushed away by goalkeeper Dean Henderson. Shrewsbury almost grabbed the late second when the visitors had committed men forward but Stefan Payne's close-range effort was brilliantly kept out by Amos.